It turns out there's a lot more to the mountain than just being the largest in the world. The summit alone can be seen from two different countries, India and Nepal. The mountain was actually measured almost a century before Sir Hillary and Sherpa Norgay made their ascent. In 1856, a survey measured the height of what was known as Peak 15. The leader of the survey, Andrew Way, calculated the peak to be 29,000 feet. He was off by only 29 feet. As for the mountain's names, the locals called it Chamaluma, which translates to Goddess Mother of the Earth. But in Nepal, the name was Sagaramatha, which translates to Brow of the Sky, which was adopted in the 1960s. So where does Everest come from? Pretty simple. It comes from Way's previous boss, Sir George Everest. In 1975, the first woman climbed Everest. Three years later, two climbers reached the summit without bottled oxygen. The oldest climber ever was 80 years old. The youngest, American Jordan Romero, at age 13. The summits also had disabled climbers, a blind American in 2001, and a double amputee from New Zealand in 2006. Climbing Everest takes about two months and can cost between $35,000 and $65,000. In all, there have been more than 9,000 summits on Everest. All right, there are some serious downsides as well. There have been nearly 300 deaths on that mountain, the deadliest mountain in the world by far. This year's climbing season has been rough. 11 people have died already. Two of that number are American.